In this video, we're going to fix some problems that we ended up causing in the previous couple of videos, and we're going to learn about how to deploy applications as well as libraries. So let's start. The first problem we're going to run into here is if I try to deploy this application by dragging it on top of our, so this is our integration node, the remote one, this is the local one, which we're not using, and then here's the remote one, here's the integration server. If I drag it on top of the information of the integration server, I get an error. And when you click on details, you will see that it, the building a bar for the deployment with the resources you selected uh, failed because my app is in a project that has errors. So you say, well, how do I find out what those errors are? The trick is to come down here where to click on this tab, which actually was open, called Problems. And you can see it says the subflow and broker schema com.company are found in the following projects, my lib and my app. Subflow files and shared library must be unique broker schema. Must be in a unique broker schema. So remember we had said that the namespace of com.company, well, that's the way Java sort of thinks about this. Com.company is a namespace. And the way the a project, or at least the way IIB's libraries work, is that it considers essentially the same thing, the schema, schema uh, that is the scheme that the approach they're using to namespaces must be unique. And so you can consider this com.company to match this com.company. In Java, again, it is a namespace, and here it's called a schema. Well, it's easy enough to fix. So the first thing that you do is you will actually have two options. The easiest one, I think, is to right click and then just create a new broker schema. And you can just type in the name of the broker schema. So you can't have duplicates is what is happening. You can't have com.company down in your library and have exactly the same schema here up in this flow under my app. So they have to be unique across the schemas. So it's very easy to fix com.company, you could say. And because this is a library, I'm going to call it my library. Or you could just simply, even easier actually, just call it lab, or lib for library. And then click on finish. The new broker schema has been created successfully. It, w it may not be visible in category mode while it is empty. Fine. So, and indeed you don't see it here. Now I said there were one of, that was one of two ways. And that's true. That is the first way. The second way would be to just create a new subflow. And in this dialog box, you create your schema down here, so just call it lib in this case. Now we've already got a lib, so I'm going to call this one lib2, just so you can see it. And then the subflow name, I'm going to call that actually just the same thing, so my subflow. And click finish. Now, by doing it this way, it, the, the schema will actually appear immediately because we have a subflow inside it. And really that was the error that we had got before that we couldn't, cr that we didn't see the other subflow. Um, we didn't see our, we didn't, sorry, we didn't see our other schema because there weren't any flows in it. So if you wanted to fix that problem, you could click here uh, under new and then create a subflow and then select, look at your containers here. We know it's gonna be in lib and then make sure your schema is what we had said before. So com.company.lib. Now call this whatever you want, my subflow, that's fine. And now we'll get to see our original lib. Now we don't want this anymore, or at least we want sort of to rename this one. And that actually, by the way, might have been your first instinct, was to go here to this schema and try to right click on it and rename it. But there's no, you can't do that. It's, this option is grayed out. So you really are in a scenario where you have to create, go to new and then create a new subflow or broker schema. Personally, I like to create the subflow to get it, things working quickly and easily. In any case, what we're going to do here is sort of clean this up. So I'm going to delete the subflow here, uh, the dot lib one. And now you might be saying, okay, that's fine, but doesn't that schema, isn't that schema still out there somewhere? And indeed it is. Go to the navigator, remember, if you want to find these sort of hidden files, you can consider them to be hidden uh, sorts of files. And here it is, there's the lib two, which we don't need. So we can just click on delete and that will delete it. And now we can go back to our application development view. And now we're in a position to try again. So let's say we want to deploy our application. So I'm going to try to drag it on top of the integration server. And we still can't do that because once again, the project is in an error state. So you see, well, down here, what is the problem? Well, it's actually the same problem as before. 
And really, that should be fairly obvious, right? Because we haven't really done anything to calm that company. This is still still exists, and so what we really need to do here, actually, it's a couple things. First of all, we don't have any real content in here. It's just an input and an output node. So we, if we, and, and really the same thing uh, applies here. So we can essentially just delete this. Now, again, by doing that, the schema that you had put in there is still there, right? So you go my lib com com and you go into the navigator view of course and then you go into lib and you say oh okay well where is it located and actually in this case it's not here this goal one is something that i had uh, tried earlier as i was doing some testing so let's go ahead and clean that up and we do actually don't see anymore uh, just the, the pure company com now everything is listed inside the lib and really that's the whole point it's just to double check that you're structure is set up that way otherwise you're going to get errors so this looks much better and indeed the X has gone away from our my app so now let's try to deploy it and we still get an error message but this error message is actually very helpful just sort of scroll down and you'll see why so we tried to deploy we tried to deploy let's actually have to go down a little bit more to get to the interesting piece here it says the application my app cannot be deployed because it depends on the shared library mylib, which is not deployed to the integration server. So this is really important because a, this is an easy th enough thing to fix. So the quick fix, of course, is you go to mylib and then you just drag it here on top of the integration server. But let's say that you have been a, you have already done that; it's already deployed, and then and and you need to make an update to. Or you do multiple updates to your primary message flow up here. Everything's great. You've been deploying it. And then all of a sudden, you need to make, uh, all of a sudden, you you realize, oh, I need to make a change to my subflow here in my lib, not in the app anymore, but in my lib. Once you're done making this change, you absolutely have to remember to then once again, that's what we're going to do now, really. But remember in the future, you'd have to do this again. You have to redeploy the lib file because in, uh, the until you do that, uh, the you're going to continue to get errors. Well, not errors so much. You're going to get the old behavior of my lib. So whenever you adjust my lib, be sure to redeploy it. Otherwise, you are going to get the old behavior. Now, now we have put in my lib first because my app depends on my lib. So my lib has to go first. Now we can go to my app and deploy it. And there we go.